yeah, it's gonna be great. I hope. I'm I'm so ha happy. Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Two, one, that's a valid pick. Inkling. Girl, purple. I feel like Inkling doesn't necessarily have to approach a lot of characters in this game. But yeah, no, she definitely can keep her space. No, Pac Man's definitely not one of them. Like, he kind of has to force an approach for the most part. Because you Pac Man's think? just, like, able to outbox her really well. Yes, Blood Bomb's really good, and so is, um, whatchamacallit? So is, uh, her neutral B. But, like, if Pac Man, if, if she doesn't, like, force Pac Man to situations where she has, she has to deal with pressure, it feels like she can get a lot of, uh, he can get a lot of, uh, benefit off of it. Mm -hmm. Between, like, the, the Hydrant, the charging up Brute, all that. It might be kind of rough for her to let him have too much space. Dave Cray was looking for the flinch there. I respect it. But it didn't work out quite as well as he probably wanted it to. Yeah. Good patience. Keeping the percent pretty even. Oh! Yeah, a kind of a. Slightly happy punish there for overextending. Yeah, Roller oh, is a commitment at the start of it, so you gotta be ready. Uh, Mad Lad jumped out of shield too uh, early and got caught. Tried to like see if he oh, would walk into his grab. Oh no, okay, cool. I thought he was going wow. for the up smash, so I thought he missed, but. Yeah, same. Yeah. Maybe he was and he just like over, he just ended up correcting it because Mad Lad took too long to mash out. Nah, he has okay. to plan ahead. It's Wi Fi. There's no reacting, only planning. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well this sure. is good. Anytime you have a stock lead versus characters who have trouble uh who whose main game is like hanging back, you know, that puts you in a really good position. Pac-Man doesn't have like the greatest offensive game, but you know, he still can pressure and be kinda scary. So it's nice to have that leeway. Yeah, the creates playing a really big uh keeping away game right now because he's like, Yeah, I have uh you're giving oh, me the chance to happening. Get back. Okay, it's stabilizing, it looks like. Yeah, There's yeah. A loss. Pack of loss there. Oh, yeah, he's dead. Can't stand you, Bonk. Yeah, I removed him from the bracket. <laughs> I need that to stop happening, Steve, please, for the love of God. Just. We need, we need Smashy G to implement a ban from types of events. <laughs> he's been like, his man is banned forever. Yeah. Nice emotes. All right, so Mad Lad able to, up to even it up, uh, didn't let Dave Create build too much of a lead, uh, and is actually now taking the percent lead on stock too. Ooh, okay. It was a good fell trick. Uh, Dave Create wasn't quite in the position they needed to be at, like, the kill there, but... Oh, nice trampoline usage. Interesting use of the hydrant there. Uh, I'm not really sure like why he felt the need to get rid of the hydrant when there was like not really the chance for that to hit uh, Dave Create. I can definitely like respect the uh, the keep away game that Mad Lad is playing right now because it's definitely causing uh, Dave a lot of issues. Oh man, he's super far out there too. Oh god, is he good? Is he fine? No, that was a great game from uh, from Dave Grady. He went out like at the perfect opportunity to take the stock. Uh, Mad Lad didn't really have an opportunity, a uh, choice, oh, any way to get back because the side B was uh, out of commission at that point. And Dave Create backing off a little too much, unfortunately, put him right in the, uh, the hydrant trajectory. He didn't really have much of a choice there. Uh, I feel like either way, Mad Lad could have compensated for how he was going to be in after he hit the hydrant. Oh, that's interesting. 
so the Galaxian didn't uh, didn't go upwards there. I wonder if there's a way to like angle it. I've never actually seen that before. That's not gonna be the stock because uh, attack's still pretty heavy, all things considered. The yeah, crit actually uh, whoa, the splat bomb almost taking it. Oh my god, that splat bomb coming in clutch for Dave Crit. Like, really great usage of it, honestly, overall. Uh, he was able to get a lot of really good opportunities from that, and that ended up taking two stocks for him, which is pretty good. Good job, dude. Let's see where they're going to end up going. So we already have like our first set of DQs for the tournament. All right, so Dave create ban battlefield and Kalos. Those are pretty respectable choices, honestly. They tend to they give uh, Pac-Man a lot of space to run around, uh, which is definitely something that when Mad Lad was running away and he was playing keep away, it definitely caused uh, Dave create a lot of issues. All right, we're going to FD. Dave create is staying uh, inkling, and it looks like Mad Lad is staying pack. All right, so we're gonna have the same match coming back. Madla doing an awesome job of uh, keeping Dave Create out to the beginning of the match. However, uh, Dave Create now able to push off Madla, he might be able to make a little bit of a uh, space. Good keep away game. I respect it. You don't want to overcommit uh, when Pac Man is getting even those high percents because he will be able to get kills pretty easily off of that. Oh man. Oh no, the uh the up smash glitch kinda saving Dave Create there. Uh when you hit uh when Pac-Man's up smash hits people at a certain trajectory, uh there's a very strong chance that the second hit won't connect. So that really just was unfortunate for Mad Lad. I definitely had that kill all set up. A back throw might be enough? No. The Kling's actually uh not super heavy, but she's heavy enough to prevent death from that. Oh, and a bad, uh, a bad ink refill, costing to create his first stock. Alright, nice. Good use of, uh, good awareness of the trampoline. He saw that the trampoline was still down, and Madeline land landed directly on top of it, so he was able to take the damage. I feel like if Dave create was a little more aware of how low, uh, Mad Lad was when he first did the trampoline, he would have been able to take that stock to free, but... Uh, sometimes you're not really in the position to do that, or you're trying to get set up to do something else. So, you can't always get the maximum punish. Oh, Dave Kratz has got to be careful. Uh, if he has to go run away to recharge ink, that actually gives, um, that gives Mad Lad a lot of opportunities to set up and uh, get the opportunity for a lot of damage. Oh, this is definitely the stock. Right, good roller from uh, good roller from Dave Create. <laughs> Somehow managing not to get a uh, punish for staying on top of the hybrid, uh, shooting with the splatter shot. Oh man! Oh no! That's really bad position from Headland. And now all of a sudden, like this match has turned around completely. Uh, all this damage from Inkling's um, Ink. Really coming through clutch for Dave Create with like a backer doing almost 20 damage, a little over 20 damage it looks like. Uh, Mad Lad needs to be very careful. He's in a kind of a precarious position here, and if he keeps trying to play uh, a boxing game with Dave Create, it could end really poorly for him. 
the fish trying to recharge. Very good. He didn't overcommit this time, which would have been really bad. All right, guys, I actually just got a request for TO help, so I'll be right back. I'm not really sure if they actually need me or not, but whatever. Right, this match is still pretty even. Alright, let's see. Sorry about that, we had a speed test request. TOing and commentating isn't exactly like the super easy to do at the same time. <laughs> but luckily, uh, Wi Fi tournaments do tend to run themselves. Oh man, Dave Create actually having a pretty solid lead. Uh, but Pac Man is able to like kind of do really good damage uh, if he's not careful about it. Oh man, you gotta be careful. Uh, there's a lot of pac mans and that's actually really smart what Mazda did there. He's like, yeah, you're gonna overcommit, you're gonna do an F smash, but you wanna hit this away in one hit, and I'm going to be able to, to punish you for doing that super heavy hit. Again, he did it, but this time he got... Mm, that F smash is gonna end it. Roller coming in clutch for Dave Create. Uh, very good awareness on the range uh, that he had to work with. Uh, burst range is definitely like a big thing in this match. It's really for, uh, for inkling. So, uh, good job to, uh, to Dave Create. Good win. Right, let me see what I can queue up next since I have to do this TO stuff and also try to like stay on top of everything. <laughs> mm. oh, here's a name I've used to know that team before. Sorry guys, I'm a little scatter job trying to do like 20 things at once right now. Um, trying to TO and also like do the... Uh, hold up, I want to reopen this match. So we're going to have Boogers versus, I don't remember who this other person was, Tigray, Tigray. Boogers versus Tigray, so this should be fun. That would be. Devin, you there? Yes. Okay, no, I wasn't sure if you just, like, if you just stopped talking and what happened. But I'm trying to get the stopped. lag detector to work. Oh, uh, okay, makes sense. Yeah, so I'm just talking with Nerf right now. I'll be around eventually. You got boogers and Tigray? Okay. Yep, boogers and Tigray. Uh, right now I'm trying to deal with uh, this connection test thing between two players. 
But it looks like it's gonna end up going... That's fine. Alright, yes, yeah, so we're gonna have to ninja versus uh, Mewtwo for this next match. 